In the heart of a small Oklahoma town, an old house sat quietly, watching the years go by. It wasn't just any house, it was grand, elegant, and filled with history. Its 2.5 stories rose proudly against the sky, offering a glimpse into the past while hinting at the possibilities of the future. For over a century, it had stood on its acre of land, surrounded by trees, and yet no one had ever truly stayed, not until the Rivers family arrived. Jack and Evelyn Rivers weren't just looking for a house, they were searching for a place to call home. From the moment they saw it, they knew this house was something special. The wide porch, the tall windows, the intricate details. The house was full of character. It had lived many lives, and now it was waiting for someone to make it their own. Moving in felt like stepping into another time. As they crossed the threshold, Evelyn's hand brushed against the custom woodwork that framed the entrance. The floors beneath them whispered softly, a reminder of all those who had walked there before. The house felt alive with history, and the rivers were eager to add their own chapter to its story. It didn't take long for the family to settle in. The five spacious suites upstairs, each with its own private seating area, became sanctuaries for the children and guests. Whether they took the grand staircase or the elevator, every corner of the house felt like an adventure waiting to unfold. Jack spent most of his time outside, exploring the expansive yard that wrapped around the house. He loved the hidden spots, the pavilion where the family could gather on warm evenings, and the second house tucked away behind the main home. This second residence, affectionately called the Silo, was a treasure in itself. It had once been a smokehouse, but had since been transformed into a charming two-bedroom cottage. The Rivers quickly realized its potential and listed it as an Airbnb. Before long, Guests from all over were booking their stays. Enchanted by the rustic appeal and the promise of experiencing something unique. Back inside the main house, Evelyn was busy turning the kitchen into her domain. With its gleaming marble countertops and custom cabinetry, the kitchen became her favorite place. It was more than just a space for cooking. It was where she created moments. The gas range, the warming drawer, and the abundance of counter space made it perfect for hosting friends and family. The kitchen was, without a doubt, the heart of the home. But the house wasn't just for entertaining. There were quiet spaces too, like the cosy library that overlooked the garden. Evelyn would often curl up by the fire with a book, the crackling sound of the flames filling the room. It was in these quiet moments that the house felt most alive, its history blending seamlessly with the present. Jack, too, found solace in the home's many hidden corners. On cool evenings, he would sit outside, watching the sun set over the trees, his children's laughter echoing in the background as they played in the yard. There was something about the house that brought people together, whether it was the charm of the old fireplaces or the quiet elegance of the crown moulding that framed every room, the house had a way of making people feel welcome. Even the chickens in the coop seemed to sense the house's peaceful energy, clucking softly as they wandered around their corner of the yard. As the years passed, the rivers grew alongside the house. They celebrated birthdays, hosted family gatherings and welcomed guests who came to stay at the silo. Jack loved telling visitors about the cast iron tubs upstairs, the wide window ledges, and the hidden rooms that seemed to appear out of nowhere. And Evelyn, ever the host, would beam as guests marveled at the home's elegant details. Despite its grandeur, the house had a warmth to it, a lived-in feeling that made it more than just a place to stay. It was a home in the truest sense of the word. It had witnessed countless stories, and now, it was witnessing the rivers. A family who had found not only a house, but a place where they could truly belong. One night after the children had gone to bed and the house had fallen into a peaceful silence, Evelyn stood at the kitchen counter, her hands resting on the cool marble. She listened to the soft hum of the house around her, the quiet creaks of the floorboards as they settled for the night. There was something magical about this place something she couldn't quite put into words. It wasn't just the old wood or the grand fireplace that made the house special. It was the way it made you feel, 
like you were part of something bigger, something timeless. The rivers had found what they were looking for, not just in the house, but in the life they had built within it. As Evelyn looked out over the darkened yard, she smiled, knowing that they were part of the house's story now, just as it had become part of theirs. The old house, with its blend of history and modern charm, stood tall and proud, ready for whatever the future might hold.